Hello friends, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video demonstration, we are going to see the steps to configure remote access VPN server in Windows Server 2016. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network that has been used for many years to provide remote connectivity and support. VPN is one of the most popular, secure and cheap technique to connect remote branch offices and remote users over the internet. There are various VPN authentication protocols such as PPTP, L2TP, SSTP and IKE version 2 that can be used by an administrator for authenticating remote users. Each VPN authentication protocol supports the different level of security. However, in this video, we will just focus on a step-by-step -step guide to configure a remote access VPN server using Windows Server 2016. First of all, let's understand the lab setup topology that we are going to use for this demonstration. If you are following this video, then ensure that all the systems are configured with the appropriate TCP IP settings as mentioned in this guide. So this is the our first server that is our domain controller name srt-dc01.mylab.local and the assigned IP address to this server is 192.168.49.101. Let's open command prompt and at the command prompt you have to run command ivconfig slash all and as you can see the current IP version 4 address is 192.168.49.101. Default gateway's IP address is 192.168.49.1 and the DNS server address is 192.168.49.101 that is the IP address of this local server. We have another server. This server is going to act as a VPN server or you can say as a router. On this server, we have a total 2 NIFC. First, name a private with the IP address 192.168.49.1 same as our domain controller's network. And we have another NIC name public with the IP address 10.0.0.1. For this demonstration, we are using this IP address as a public IP address. And this Windows Server 2016 computer is also part of our domain mylab.local. Now we have one more machine and that is our client computer for testing purpose. If you see the IP address on our Windows 10 client computer, here you can see the configured IP address is 10.0.0.101. We didn't specify default gateway address or DNS address to this client computer. Let's move to our Windows Server 2016 computer. In order to configure VPN server on a Windows Server 2016, first you need to install the remote access service role. So let's install a remote access service role on our srt srv one server. Let's click on dashboard. Let's click on add roles and features. On uh, before you begin screen, we have to click on next. We have to select role base or feature base installation and then let's click on next button. On a select destination server, you have to select the server on which you are planning to install the role. For this demonstration, we have only one server and that is our local server. On a select server role screen, we have to select a remote access server role. Let's click on next button. We didn't need any additional features right now, so I'm skipping this step by clicking on next button. Here you can read a brief overview information about remote access. Let's click on next. Now on this screen, we have to select direct access and VPN. Let's click on add features to add the required features. And I'm going to select routing as well. Let's click on next. Next again. We didn't need any additional IIS rule services. So on this console, you just have to click on next button. Now let's click on install to start the installation process. Okay, remote access server role has been installed successfully. Now here we are receiving one message, configuration required. So let's click on this link to start getting started wizard. Let's click on it. On a configure remote access screen, we're going to select deploy VPN only. 
Now let's uh, click on close button to close this console. Now that will open routing and remote access console. You can also open this console by clicking on tools and then clicking on routing and remote access. Let's come back to routing and remote access console. Now uh, this is the our server name, name uh, srt-srt01. And here currently you can see a red button that tells us that uh, we didn't configure routing and remote access server role on this server yet. So let's do it. Let's uh, right click on our server name and select configure and enable routing and remote access. On the welcome page, click on next. Now on the configuration console, I'm going to select custom configuration because we want to manually customize the configuration. You can also select first one, remote access, dial up or VPN option. Now let's click on next button and here I'm going to select VPN access as well as I'm going to select LAN routing. Let's click on next to continue. Now let's click on finish. Let's click on start service. And here we go. Now let's uh, expand our server name. Under port, you can see that our list of SSTP, PPTP and L2TP I key ports are there. Or if you want to set limit on numbers of port, that time you can right click on ports and select properties and from this console you can uh, set the numbers of uh, connections limit. Like if I select the PPTP and if I click on configure, here we have an option to specify maximum available ports for PPTP. Let's click on OK, apply and OK. Now, first of all, I'm going to uh, click on srt srv one right click on it and I'm going to select properties. Now here you can see uh, IP version 4 router options is selected as well as IP version 4 remote access server options is also selected. Now let's click on the security tab. Here the authentication provider is a Windows authentication. If you are using a radius server, that time you have to select radius authentication and then you have to specify the configuration about radius server. But right now we are not using radius server, so I will select Windows authentication only. If you are going to use L2TP VPN, that time you have to select this box and you have to specify your pre-shared key over here. But first we will check PPTP VPN and then we will uh, say L2TP VPN. Now let's click on IP version 4 tab. Now here IP version 4 forwarding is currently enabled. Now here I'm going to select static address pool which we want to assign to our VPN users. Let's click on add button. And here I'm going to specify IP address 192.168.49.242.192.168.49.254. Total 15 addresses. Let's click on OK. Uh, now let's click on PVP tab. Here all these options are selected. And here we are not going to change any settings. Let's click on Apply and OK. If we click on remote access clients, right now currently there is no client connected to our VPN server. So now we have successfully configured our remote access VPN server. If you have an other firewall between the internet and your Windows server, you have to open certain ports in your firewall to forward the VPN request to your Windows server. So let's open Windows Firewall with uh, advanced security. Okay, let's uh, click on Inbound Rules. And let's find the rules for a VPN. Here we go. This is the rule for PPTP for port number TCP uh, 1723. If we click on uh, protocol and ports here we can say TCP 1723 and this is rule for GRE generic routing encapsulation and if you see a protocol and port here we can see protocol type is GRE and protocol number is 47 this is the rule for L2TP with UDP port 
1701 and next uh, this is for SSTP with uh, port number TCP 443 so all the ports are open for us but if you have an other firewall between the internet and your windows server you have to manually open this port for a VPN server let's cancel it and let's close this console so now let's move to our domain controller on our domain controller, I'm going to open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping. On Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping, I'm going to click on Users, right click on it and select New and select User. For this uh, testing purpose, uh, I'm going to give a name VPN User1 and username will be User1. Let's specify the password. And let's clear the first checkbox. Now let's click on next version and click on finish. Select our user, name of VPN user 1, double click on it. Click on our dial in tab. And here I'm going to select allow access. Let's click on apply and OK. So we'll use this user account to test our VPN. So in the last step, we are moving to our client computer to test a VPN server functionality. So first of all, we have to create one dial-up connection to connect our VPN server. For that, I'm going to click on Start button. Then I'm going to click on Settings button. Click on Network and Internet. Click on VPN. And click on Add a VPN connection. Now here we have to select VPN provider. We'll select Windows Pelting. Here you have to specify the name of connection and you can specify test VPN. Here you have to specify the name of your server or IP address. For us that will be 10.0.0.1. From here you can specify VPN type. For example, if you are using point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, that time you can specify it from here. But for this demonstration, we will select automatic. Here we have a options for type of sign-in information. By default selected options is username and password. You can select smart card, one-time password or certificate. We will leave it to username and password. And then I'm going to click on save button. Okay, now our VPN connection is ready to use. Let's uh, click on test VPN and click on connect. It will ask us to specify username and password. Let's specify user1 which will be username and his password. Let's click on OK. And here we go. Our dialer is successfully connected with our VPN server. Let's check the RP configuration by running command rpconfig slash all. And this is the RP address which is assigned to our test VPN dialer connection. And that is 192.168.49.241. Let's check network connectivity with our domain controller by pinging to our domain controller 192.168.49.101. Okay. And let's access the share folder on our domain controller by accessing UNC path and the IP address. And here we go. Now user can access his or her data stored on your internal company network. For testing purpose, uh, I'm going to ping our domain controller and uh, I'm going to disconnect this test VPN. Okay, now as you can see, a ping transmit failed because uh, after disconnecting VPN, our client computer is not able to communicate with our domain controller. Let's again connect our VPN server and it is connected now. And here we go. Our user can communicate with our domain controller. Let's move to our VPN server again. And here I'm going to click on refresh. Here you can see this user is currently connected with our VPN server name user. If we double click on it, here we can see a statistics. Network registration under it, you can see IP address 192.168.49.242 that is currently assigned IP address. Let's check on it, our client computer. 
and here we go this is the ip address which is currently assigned to our client computer okay let's open network connection console right click on your dial up connection and select status click on details and here we can see device type is a vpn authentication is done by eap extensible authentication protocol and we are using pptp point to point tunneling protocol so this is the way how we can configure remote access vpn server in windows server 2016 in this video we have seen the steps to configure remote access vpn server on windows server 2016 you are always welcome to provide your valuable suggestion and feedbacks in comment section thank you all for watching this video